Hello, I'm Coach Martinez from Wively Elementary in Irving ISD. You are going to be learning about dribbling with your hands. Dribbling simply just means bouncing or hitting back and forth. Now, as you're dri dribbling this week, think about using your finger pads. Your finger pads are the squishy part of your finger, not your fingertips where the nail is, but the squishy finger pads. When you hit the ball or bounce the ball, you wanna use your hands kind of up on your finger pads, not your nails, and don't slap with your hand. Also, you wanna make sure that when you're dribbling, you bend your knees slightly. Not all the way down to the ground, but you wanna bend them slightly so your legs aren't standing straight up. Also, as you are bouncing or dribbling the ball with your hands, you wanna make sure that you are standing up, keeping your head and eyes up and not bent over like an old lady. Oh, my back, my back. So keep your head and eyes up as you dribble. When you do that, you wanna use what's called your peripheral vision. That's not the center part, but everything around it. Pick a spot on the wall right now. Look straight ahead. Look at the ball. You can look at the ball, but see other things around it. That's called your peripheral. So as you're dribbling, use your peripheral vision to see um, the ball bouncing or dribbling at your waist. That's the last part there, is keeping it near your waist as you dribble. You don't want it way up in the air bouncing, and you don't want it way down to the ground. You want to try to keep it about where your waist is. That's the top of your pants or where a belt is. So make sure you have your knees bent, your head and your eyes are up. Make sure you're keeping the ball right there at your waist. And you can add a little arm protection if you want. But the main part you're going to be working on is dribbling with your hands. Good luck. You'll have a great week.